Hey YouTube family, welcome back to another great episode of Conversations That Lead to Greatness. Now today's episode, we're going to focus on going the extra mile, okay? Now have you ever wondered like what separate a person who achieved extraordinary success from the rest? See, the thing is, it is the habit of going the extra mile. It is the ability for them to consist consistently go over and beyond what is expected of them, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're going to dive into... How to cultivate that habit of going the extra mile and also what is the benefits of going the extra mile and how it can help you tap into your greatness. So stick around. Let's dive in. This is Conversations That Lead to Greatness. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Aisha Smith. And I'm Lester Smith. And we are committed to helping you guys tap into your greatness by uploading great content that will educate, motivate, and inspire you to create the life you desire. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, as we said, we're talking about going the extra mile. Mm -hmm. Okay? First, I want to start with let's how can we cultivate it? Okay. Because a lot of people know the saying of, hey, you know, you got to go the extra mile, you got to go the extra mile. Mm -hmm. But how can you develop that habit? How can you make it a habit that you can do on a daily basis where you can reap the benefits of that habit? Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So today, let's talk about cultivating it. Okay. Now, the first thing I want to say is the first step to cultivating this habit and developing this habit is you have to understand the power of mindset. Mm. Like, I can't stress that enough because it's the way you think about things. It's the way that you perceive things, okay? Mm -hmm. So, um, when we talk about going the extra mile, let's think about tasks. Okay. You know, tasks is things we do on a daily basis. Okay. It's like an obligation or whatever. Yeah. So, if you cultivate the mindset of, hey, I'm going to look at my tasks as a way of opportunities to grow, mm. um, as a way of... Up, develop developing me personally yeah then you can go over and beyond because you're looking for opportunities above and beyond yeah mm -hmm. you can yeah. go and do the extra mile because yeah. you're like man i need to grow i have a growth mindset yeah and i'm looking for the opportunity to bring value exactly to be un irreplaceable exactly. so yeah first you have to understand the power of that mindset you have to switch that mindset and that's the first step to cultivating it mm -hmm. so what you think yeah i like that i definitely yeah. like that um the, going the extra mile is that's something I've always been a, a fan of. Mm -hmm. Okay, any job I ever worked, I've always went above and beyond. Yeah, above and beyond. And, and let me tell you something: as you go above and beyond, some, some people will be like, "Well, I ain't gonna do all that. I'm not gonna do this, and I'm not gonna do that." Okay, well, I was I was always the highest paid at every job I ever went to. Hell. You know what I'm saying? So, and and that was because I go the extra mile. You know what I'm saying? Doing doing going above and beyond. Mm -hmm. And as I do that. It make me. You might. You might say, well, "Well, you ain't got to do all that." You know, that's how people be thinking. A lot of people say. Yeah, that. a lot of people say you ain't got to do all that and this and that, and they ain't gonna pay you nothing extra and this and that. But when you go the extra mile, uh, 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 working for the man, you are gonna go the extra mile for yourself. Yeah. Let me say this too. Okay, I got let, me, let me say this too. You go the extra mile in your relationship. Ooh. In, in your marriage, in your personal relationship, just just doing more than what's, your, expected. Your, what's expected of you. Yes. Bringing flowers home to bed. Hey, baby, go eat some flowers. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, just going extra mile, just doing something extra on a daily basis. And let me say, let me say this. If both of y'all doing that, you don't have no problems in your relationship. Nope. nope. <laughs> yeah. And I say when you yeah. think about going the extra mile, yeah. it's basically you're taking initiative. Mm -hmm. You're not waiting on someone to tell you what to do or how to do it or you need to do something. Exactly. You're not waiting. Mm -hmm. So you're going the extra mile. You're taking initiative mm -hmm. even when it's not required. Exactly. A lot of times... We like to only do the bare minimum mm -hmm. and go home. Exactly. And we wonder why, you know, our life is not flourishing or why we are living paycheck to paycheck or why our relationships are still stuck. Mm -hmm. A lot of times it's because you're not going an extra mile. Mm -hmm. No one should have to tell you to do something you want to do. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So take the initiative, you know, continue to have the mindset of I want to. I want to grow. Yeah. I want to improve on anything I put my hands on. What does it say in the Bible? Like whatever your whatever your hands touch. Wait, don't quote me on this. I'm <laughs> paraphrasing. Okay. Okay. Whatever you do, do with all your might. Exactly. Okay. Do it to your greatest ability. Mm -hmm. Whatever you decide to do. Yeah. Don't half step it. Mm -hmm. Don't cut corners. Like because it's yeah. gonna show as in your result. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. So. Take initiative. Give it your all. Strive to be great. Mm. Strive to bring value. Yeah. Strive to be your best self. I think I think uh, Napoleon Hill got a whole chapter in um, 
and uh, uh, Think and Grow Rich mm. about going the extra mile. Got a whole chapter about it. So if you have, if you never read the book Think and Grow Rich, check that out. And uh, as, as you uh, uh, start to go the extra mile and whatnot, that's gonna that's gonna make you better in your personal life. And it's going to make you uh, better in your, your business and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. And even just talk about, because we're entrepreneurs, we're serial entrepreneurs. Mm-hmm. And let's talk about with business, because a lot of times people think they can do the bare minimum mm-hmm. when they're working for themselves. Exactly. And think they can reap the benefits of extraordinary success mm-hmm. by doing the bare minimum. Yeah. And a lot of times it's, it's, it's it ain't going to happen. Mm-hmm. Like you have to go over, even like dealing with customer service, mm-hmm. um, dealing with customers, I'm sorry. Um, say for instance, like we have Airbnbs, okay? Mm. One of our business is a theme Airbnb, okay? Yeah. We have three of them. Mm. So imagine when, you know, we're just setting our Airbnb up for theme, right? But I just leave it there. Mm. When a customer contact me or, I remember it was one of our guests. She um, contacted me and said, hey, I'll be coming in for a funeral of my dad. Mm-hmm. I went. I took that person because I'm like, man, that's. Let me show how grateful I am for her to pick our property. I, I remember that you saw. And you I saw me down there. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you know, you saw me down there to get the flowers for. Yeah, yeah, flowers and cards. And, and I'm thinking like, man, we ain't got to do all this, but hey, I, over I, and I, beyond. But I understood where you was coming from, though. Yeah. I, 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 once, once I went down there and, and got it for her, I was like, okay, I think you got the flowers and the and bottle of wine. Yes. Yeah. And card. Mm, yeah. Mm, yes. Mm. Yeah. And it's like, you know, I went over and beyond because I'm like, I want to treat people how I want to be treated. Yeah. Like, I feel that I'm in the service of hospitality. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm catering to your needs. I'm even the needs that's unspoken. Yeah. I'm taking initiative. I'm doing what is not required. So you can look and say, man, I remember she was my host and she did this. And hey, if I'm coming back to Houston, mm-hmm. let me book one of her other properties mm-hmm. because she was such a good host. Yeah. So it's like you have to go over and beyond what is expected of you yeah. and you have to have that mindset that hey I want to continue to improve mm. like I'm ne- I have never arrived exactly. I have not made it Amen. no listen <laughs> I am gr- as we doing as we going live yeah. on TikTok TikTok and Instagram yeah. plus our live episode on YouTube yeah. we had to learn how to the angles and the lighting and yeah. all, this is yeah. our first time yeah so it's all you have to continue to improve mm-hmm. continue to strive to be your best self so you can serve the people God called you to serve exactly you exactly. got to and let me say this I have an eBay business I've been headed since 2010 and mm-hmm. let me talk, talk to you about going the extra mile mm-hmm. uh, anytime my customers order something from me I always send them something extra yeah. I right now I sell football, baseball, and basketball because I know a lot of y'all are like, hey, for real, football, baseball, <laughs> basketball because that's big business. Yeah, that's big business on eBay, and I've been doing that since uh, 2018, uh, selling those cards. And um, I would send them some some free cards. You know, the cards don't be worth no more than 10, 15 cent, 20 cent. But let me tell you what's the what's the what they what they always say to me when they when they when they leave their uh, re- when they leave their feedback mm-hmm. or they review. They say, hey, man, thank you for the extra cards. Mm-hmm. Thank you for the extra cards. That's going above and beyond. And if you have a business, go above and beyond. Give them a little something extra every night. It might not even mean a whole lot to you. It may just be some candies or something, anything. You know, just go above and beyond. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And even just that, I remember when I had my uh, wig company, mm-hmm. it was like, you know, just a simple thing of free shipping. Mm-hmm. Like a certain order free shipping or yeah. if a customer or a student, I used to teach. Yeah. Um, a student forgot an access code or they was like, hey, I bought this class. Can I get a discount on this class? Mm-hmm. Well, I got, it's okay. It's, it's nothing. Exactly. Go over and beyond. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the next way to cultivate and develop the habit of going an extra mile is Define what going the extra mile is in your life, exactly. in every aspect of your life. Mm-hmm. That means career, relationship, personal goals, mm-hmm. anything dealing with you, you have to define what that is in your life mm-hmm. in, that, in that situation. Yeah. So if it's relationship, going the extra mile, if that's going to help you um, overall have a better relationship, if that's going to take you out of the habit of being selfish Mm -hmm. because you know you're selfish and you know it's hindering your relationship. Mm -hmm. If going the extra mile is going to help that, do it. Exactly. Go the extra mile. I'm going to say, I got a quick story. It's it's a guy, I think he in Atlanta, if I'm not mistaken. Um, He's a real estate agent. And every one of his his customers or his clients, he buy them a pair of Louis Vuitton or or, or Gucci or something like that. And, and, and give it to them when they close. When they close. Yeah. And he don't have to do that. Nope. He don't have to do that. But guess what? He wanted the top, the top uh, uh, real estate agents in his area. 
Yeah. One of the top real estate agents in this area. And you may say, well, I ain't trying to do all that. Well, small, you know, <laughs> to each his own. You know, the, the one that's doing it is the one going to have all the business. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, guys. So the next is be proactive. Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. I can't stress this enough. <laughs> a lot of times we're so busy in life, yeah. but we're not productive. We're not proactive. Mm -hmm. We're it's like you don't wait for someone to ask you to do more mm -hmm. or to do something you know you have a sense that man I could could have done that better. Yeah. I could have did this better than them. And you know what I'm saying? Oh, but it's not my job title. I ain't mm -hmm. gonna do it. I ain't gonna pay for mm -hmm. it. It's like when you look at it in that mind frame and that mindset. You will never grow because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you're not adding value. Mm -hmm. You have value inside you, but you're not adding it to where you are in that area. So then guess what? You're not, you're not, uh, you're dispendable. Mm -hmm. That's the word. Dispendable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you, there's no reason for them to keep you yeah. because at the end of the day, they're going to choose, they're going to choose someone that brings value yeah. versus someone who know they have value within it and they're not doing the extra when, mile. They're when, not doing when it. Come, when it comes to getting rid of somebody, you're going to be the you're first, be the one, first they one they probably get rid of. You're not people. valuable. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you have to be proactive in all mm -hmm. you do. Look for opportunities. Yeah to do things or even look for opportunities to support other people mm -hmm. like support it can go a long way yeah. it can take you a long ways because people go and look and be like man you know she came she or he supported this and me i'm gonna return the favor it's all about reaping and sowing mm -hmm. it's the it's a principle mm -hmm. like this is can't get around <laughs> it's the principle that god created okay yeah, yeah so yeah be proactive in everything you do don't wait for someone to tell you what to do yeah. like especially when you know you can do it better yeah and it's available and for let, me, let me tell you this we, we all know we can do better yeah we just Woo. we just won't do it we know we can do better we just won't do it we'd rather just do the bad minimum and the bad minimum a lot of time is gonna get you cut off <laughs> cut off from your job cut off from your, your relationships cut off from your, your friendships all that it's going to get you cut off <laughs> even cut off if you're a business owner exactly. or if you have a cut side off from your hustle. customers yeah mm -hmm. you're going to get cut off because yeah. at the end it's like a crazy thing <clears throat> a lot of business owners think that they're providing a favor like it's a favor for that we're providing you with this, this service and yeah. you have to buy and mm -hmm. you know it's not no. like we all should be thankful because at the end of the day, they can take their money and spend it with whomever. Exactly. They could take their money and spend it with whoever they with want whomever. to. With whomever. And just mm -hmm. because you're a black owned business does not qualify you to have an advantage. Exactly. Sorry. Yeah. It needs to be said. That's the truth. And it's, the truth. it's huge because we are the ones that <laughs> we the ones that expect hey. the, the reap the benefits of something we didn't sow mm -hmm. in our business yeah. because we didn't go over and beyond. Yeah. And we just feel like, oh, I'm a black owned business. Um, what is this Black Life Matters and all this movement? Mm -hmm. You know, yes, a lot of people support black owned businesses, but they also support going the business that go over and beyond customer mm -hmm. service. Yeah. You know, they, that's like for me, that's yeah. a pet peeve. I don't care who you are. I, I, I always say you got to do it like Chick-fil-A. Hey, I love Chick-fil-A. Hey, man. Oh, oh, they go above and beyond. Hey, <laughs> Hello. And it makes you feel so happy. Hey, you man. can have like crazy things. You can be in a bad mood, but you pull up and all Chick-fil-A just by them. Hello, how you doing? Just yeah. like positive. Above and beyond. You be like, man, I went to McDonald's. They made me even more mad. Okay? Yeah. I and should, they get your I shouldn't even went over there. <laughs> I shouldn't even went to McDonald's. I shouldn't even went to Chick Fil A. Yeah. You know, and the crazy part about it is, it, they 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 so nice at Chick Fil A. It, it make you feel uncomfortable. I'm pretty sure y'all know yeah, what I'm talking about. You be like, I don't know, I know. Who, who, who this night? Nice? in the morning. <laughs> yeah. So it just dropped. Mm. Because you know, Chick Fil A is way higher. Chick Fil A is higher than McDonald's. Higher than any restaurant, okay? Mm. That I know. Yeah. I mean, not. I mean, for us, like on that food, chain fast, fast food, food. Yeah. It's, it's one of the highest on the higher but end. That, but but you don't you don't mind paying that though. But this is why. Yeah. So they brought value. They know in the marketplace of their um, competition that customer service lacks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. What they did was identify the problem mm -hmm. and they added a solution to that problem into their whole business model. Exactly. Okay. So now you got so many people that expect like Chick-fil-A, like I, I, I know I'm going to Chick-fil-A, yeah. even though they're pricey. Yeah. But just because I'm going to pay that price because guess what? You got good customer service. Mm -hmm. You go over and beyond. Yeah. Yeah, mm. that's the truth. You can charge because you're adding value to something that was yeah. missing in that area in that get, workplace. Get your get your client your your customer base or your client base built up and then go up on the price. Oh, hey, <laughs> that's what Chick Fil A did. 
They were they, they were one of the cheapest that's, at first. That's, you right on that. Yeah, they were one of the cheapest at first, and they 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 got their customer base. They they client base built up. They say, hey, we we the top over here. This yeah. what we the, and, they, and they, then they can close on Sunday. And they, and they didn't they didn't uh, uh, just you know uh, just go up on the price. You know, tremendously. Yeah, they just sorry. gradually you know went up yeah. on the price. Yeah, they, and they close on Sunday. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Listen. Yeah. When you have value, when you go the extra mile, when you be proactive, take initiative. Mm-hmm. It's like you you see a problem, and you just and you know or you have an idea on how to solve it. But because you're not reaping the benefits, you're not getting paid. You know, you're not getting the promotion or whatever. You're not gonna do it. Yeah. But guess what? You're never gonna get paid or even even get looked at. Yeah. As someone is set apart. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. it's like when you're set apart. You are valued. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're different. Now, let's talk about the benefits. The benefits of going the extra mile. Mm -hmm. Now, like I said, you're set apart. Like, most people in this world are so content Mm -hmm. and just... Being mediocre. No, just living their life. It might, to them, they might be... On it, you know they just, you know they just content. Well, you know they, they don't want to grow. They, they cool with being look look uh, uh doing better than one of the, Ooh, little couple of. Don't do that. Hey man, don't they, do that. They cool with being uh doing better than just one or two people that they know or, or just their family members. Environment. Yeah, they They're environment. No circle. But they step into another circle. They be like, man, I ain't doing nothing. Ain't doing nothing. That off topic but still <laughs> that is the reason why you have to leave your comfort zone leave your familiarity yep. Yep. leave your environment mm-hmm. because you want to feel like you have arrived in your environment because you might be the one that's doing the best in your environment exactly but the moment you step out step you're going to realize step into the other environment yeah, you're going to realize hey, you I, ain't doing I, nothing I ain't doing nothing you not even I didn't, close. I need to step my game up. And that's and then <laughs> when you see that because that's yeah. how you know you have that growth mindset mm-hmm. and why it's needed. Yeah. Because you're not gonna feel threatened by it. For anything, it's gonna motivate you. Mm-hmm. It's gonna inspire you. It's gonna be like, man, I've got been messing around too long. It's mm-hmm. time for me to get with the get with the program. Go, get, get the program. The pro- yeah. That's what happened yeah. to me, y'all. Yeah. I'm speaking from experience. Okay. <laughs> I had to give the program because this guy could place it. She yeah. got comfortable and content. Yeah. Content. Yeah. Okay. You, so, you definitely did that. Hey, we ain't on that. <laughs> You made me lose my helmet. I was like, like, hey, baby, come on, let's go. You like, hey, I don't know. <laughs> ah, you did that, you know? Yeah. But yeah. it had to happen. Mm-hmm. So imagine if I would have just, like, just got threatened, felt threatened by it, or I took well, it Well, you, you could have kept fighting it. Yeah. When I, when I was saying, hey, baby, come on, let's go, you could have kept yeah. fighting it, and what would have happened? Mm-hmm. I, either, either you would have brought me back down to your level, or I would have brought you up to my level. Yeah. One or the other, or we might have went separate ways. Separate ways. Yeah. Right. So, one of three things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're right. Yeah. So, yeah, the benefit, one of the benefits of going the extra mile is you're set apart. Mm-hmm. You you are valued. Mm-hmm. You, you you know, you you are seen. Yeah. Okay? You're going to be valued everywhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and the killing thing is when you are set apart, it, set, it sets the stage for great opportunities opportunities mm. to come your way mm-hmm. for doors to open for you exactly. because guess what when a person sees someone that go over be over and beyond without Above even beyond. Mm-hmm. yeah yeah without even being told what to do or they're not even supposed to mm-hmm. guess what our eyes gonna be looking yeah. they're gonna be like who is this person you're you gonna be the first person they call yeah because mm-hmm. they see excellent excellence yeah. in you yeah. you know mm-hmm. tell ya yeah, that's the truth. All right. That's Another true. benefit, and that moves us to this next benefit. Mm-hmm. When the benefit is creating, it creates a reputation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A reputation of excellence. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And the thing is, now that everyone is looking for excellence, all right? Mm-hmm. Or even say for you a business owner, or you looking for someone to to help you take your business as serious as it, mm-hmm. yeah, as yeah. serious as you take your business. Mm-hmm. So you're looking for a person of excellence, mm-hmm. of character, um, a person that have great reliability, yeah. you know, that have a great quality mm-hmm. and they can bring value and elevate. Yeah. And that's with all things. Mm-hmm. So yeah, when you have that going to extra mile mindset, listen, you're excellent. Yeah. Okay. Is you gotta yeah. cultivate this. You gotta develop this habit, okay, yeah. into your daily life. It's definitely a great habit to have. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, just mm-hmm. definitely. Yeah. Um. A next another benefit is it helps you develop the growth mindset. Mm-hmm. A lot of people that watches our videos, like we're on a journey. We're all on this journey together, okay. Mm-hmm. And we're changing our mindset. We're you know we're healing. We're you know coming to some truths, mm-hmm. okay. That we yeah. then. Mm, 
that our past didn't lie or how our upbringing or environment told us, you know, the lies. So yeah. we're on a journey and this helped you develop that growth mindset. It helped you to constantly re- evolve. I'm sorry. Constantly evolve and adapt to different things, mm-hmm. you know, and that's that's what you have to do. You yeah. have to evolve and adapt yeah. because the world is still going. Yeah. The world, the world is growing every every year, every single year. You know, it's growing. So we got to constantly evolve and adapt, yeah. adapt to the to, 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 to the new things. Let me say this: think about all the things that's in the world today that wasn't in the, in the world ten years ago, and and if we didn't adapt to what's going. Look at we got these tablets and stuff up here. I don't, I don't know if these tablets was around ten years ago, was it? I don't know. I don't know, I but let me tell you something. <laughs> It's it's kind of crazy. Yeah. You got to adapt, and and I was I was I was I was uh, five six year old. She can work them better than we can. Yeah. She be all in this and doing that. I'm like, hold on, what you doing? So you can learn something even from a child. You can. Yeah. So. And yeah. it's crazy because like each generation get better and better. Exactly. Um. Yes, the world today is full of evil. That's mm-hmm. because it's been focused on. It's it's magnified, magnified, magnified. Okay. Mm-hmm. But if you look at it, each generation gets better. Like. Our generation, we're seeking healing now. We're yeah. seeking truth. Yeah. We're no longer, we're going to counseling. Yeah. We're no longer holding on to what happened to this house stay, stays in this house. Mm-hmm. We're breaking generational curses. Yeah. Like we're very vocal about things or how we feel. Yeah. So it gets better versus our mother or our grandparents' generation. Mm-hmm. It was more as keep everything in the house. Don't say nothing. Hush, hush. Sweep everything under the rug. Yeah. So, and then before then, I don't know what they dealt with. But, mm-hmm. it, you know what I'm saying? Each generation is getting better. Mm-hmm. And you have to evolve and, you know, go the extra mile and develop and grow. And if I can give you one piece of advice, I highly recommend you go on the journey to personal development. To discovering the real you. Exactly. You know, a lot of times, all the pain, the hurt, the um, things we've been through in life has formed our personality yeah. has cultivated who we think we are yeah. and when you go on a journey to learning the truth about yourself to healing to forgiving you will discover that man i love this person i'm becoming exactly i love mm-hmm. and it's less stressful and i'm gonna say this too now it's getting off the topic a little bit but i just want to uh, uh, uh go back to when we were kids and whatnot when we were kids we grew up and we had a certain paradigm. Our our mm-hmm. our parents, our our grandparents, our aunts, yeah. uncles, teachers, all of them instilled their beliefs and everything into us. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So that that gave us that certain paradigm. So now, as we're grown, we need to question everything. Ooh. We need to question everything, and as we question everything, that's gonna. Let me tell you something. <laughs> me and her, we've been questioning everything. Mm. And, and let me tell you, let me tell you one of the things that that, that made us question everything. The book, uh, um, I Witness the Devil by Napoleon yeah. Hill. I recommend, I've said that several times in, in, in previous episodes, but I Witness the Devil by Napoleon Hill. You need to check that book out if you never, if you never read it. If you're, yeah. if you're a God fearing person, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying, hey, this, that, that book is deep. It's deep and it made us question our whole existence. You're like, dang, you know, they told me this and they told me that. You know, and I'm like, mm-hmm. and, see, and see, they set our paradigm as kids. You know what I'm saying? And, and we never questioned anything. Like a lot of the stuff that we that, that that me and her are going through right now, we're reading in the Bible. They never told us that. Mm. You understand know what I'm saying? They, they had us thinking like uh, money is the root of all evil, and something yeah. and poverty is the virtue, and all that. No, no, that ain't what God wants for His kids. Yeah. God want God want the abundant life for His kids. Mm. And if you want to live life abundantly, you need to do your research. For yourself. Do your, do your research for yourself and dig down deep off into it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Mm-hmm. All right, so are you good? We yeah, okay. yeah, I'm good. All right, guys, so as we close out this episode, please be sure to give us a thumb up. Um, if you're not following us on YouTube, you know, hit that subscribe button. Um, also, follow us on TikTok and Instagram and Facebook. Mm-hmm. We forgot to go live on Facebook. That's all good. We'll get them on We got to get another that. camera, okay? Yeah, another we'll phone or something. <laughs> um, yeah. But, you know, if I can just leave you with something, like, I ch- like challenge yourself to embrace this mindset of going the extra mile. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. not just in your career, but in all aspects of ex- aspects aspects of your life. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yeah. Like just see what can I do in this area of my life 
where I can go the extra mile and it can help me. Mm -hmm. Like it will transform your life. Like, oh my goodness. Uh, even something as small as what can I do in my relationship? Mm hmm. Like what can what can I do for my spouse? Or what can yeah, I do for my significant be other? Selfishly. Today, today, you know what I'm saying. And let me say this: Don't just believe because you're going the extra mile. They're not going to go the extra Ooh. mile. That's going to make them want to go the extra mile too. Oh, you, like, you like that? You brought up something. We're supposed to close. <laughs> okay, let me touch on this because I was supposed yep. to say it. Yeah. A lot of times, people don't go the extra mile because they feel or they know the ex the other person they're going the extra mile for is not going to appreciate it. Yeah. That does not mean nah. you not to you don't go the extra mile. You still need to go the extra mile. You still have to. That's it's the mindset of things. It's mm -hmm. all in the mindset how you perceive how you think about things. Exactly. You when you go the extra mile, that mindset is like I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing, I'm it for doing this for me Ooh. because guess what? I'm that's gaining deep. knowledge. Yeah. I'm yeah. getting back value. Mm -hmm. Like I am literally cultivating something that I know I want in my life. Mm -hmm. It's not about you. It's not about them. You yeah. can appreciate it or not. Yeah. But I'm going to gain this knowledge. Mm -hmm. I'm going to catapult my own life to yeah. create and tap into my greatness. Yeah. I'm going to do that. I like that. So yeah. Just I like that. that. I, mean, that's such a <laughs> I like that. But yeah, guys, as yeah. we close up this episode, now let's be like, let's, let's go the extra mile. Yeah. Let's be clear and be like, man, you know what? I need. What can I do to go the extra mile in my life? Mm -hmm. Because that's what is going to help you tap into your greatness. This is what's going to help you catapult you to push you towards greatness. Mm -hmm. Like it's like a catalyst. Yeah. You know, that's the one that just whoosh, mm -hmm. greatness. <laughs> you know, guys. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, babe, that's it. Take it home. Hey, God is good. Yep. Life is good. Mm -hmm. When we look good, we feel good. We live in a life of abundance. Peace. Peace, guys. <laughs>